What's going on, mother truckers? Uh, all I gotta say is, how do you feel about having to make sure your semi truck is smogged every year? Because basically, that's what they're doing in California for semi trucks. Now, let's get into this video here. A lot of drivers won't be happy, but it looks like uh, thousands of drivers have gotten this postcard in the mail. Let's get into today's video. To make this real easy, uh, truck drivers, in California, you gotta smog your cars, and if you don't pass, you can't register your car. So, now in California, starting 2024, if you don't pass your smog for semi-trucks, you can't register your semi-truck. And guess what? When you wanna get smogged, there's a fee for that, for every single vehicle you own. So, they're making money twice. Over 50% of all greenhouse gas emissions in the state of California, in this state, over half of the greenhouse gas emissions come from oil extraction and or tailpipes. The automobile industry in California in its related extraction and costs are the leading cause of greenhouse gas emissions in our state. I'm Mother Truckers. Welcome to Mother Trucker News. Email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. Uh, we just had a Mother Trucker out in California said that he got this postcard and it's just making him want to move away from California and take his business somewhere else. And the biggest reason for that is because the governor, his goals is by 2035 to be zero emissions, right? And that seems like it's a long time from now, but when you have a trucking company, when you have 5, 10, 15, 30 trucks, you have a piece of property, uh, you have so much invested in diesel equipment, you're thinking to yourself, I mean, how are you going to switch up your whole company for something like this? And, you know, uh, he actually receives a postcard and sends me a link to this that says new California requirements for heavy duty vehicles and trucks. You may have received a postcard from the California air resource board because DMV records show you may own a vehicle that's affected by carbs regulation. Dang. So they're just putting pointing everybody. Um, comment down below if you're from California and you got one of these postcards, uh, carb is focused on cleaning up heavy duty vehicle pollution to reduce smog forming oxidize of nitrogen and toxic diesel, uh, particulates matter emissions and the resulting in health risks to meet california's health-based air quality standards and greenhouse gas emissions reduction goals trucks and buses operated in the state must be as clean as possible california is working to meet the governor's goal of 100 percent zero emission transportation where feasible by uh, 2035 for off-road transport refrigeration units and drive vehicles and 2045 for all, all other heavy duty vehicles as a result of the efforts the regulations listed below may affect your heavy duty vehicles or trucks so uh, one of the things that you guys are going to have to worry about here right now it says the clean truck check uh, formally the heavy duty inspection and maintenance program affects non-gasoline vehicles that will gross vehicle weight rating greater than 14,000 pounds and operating in California. The clean truck check is similar to California's smog check program for light duty vehicles. The goal of the clean truck check is to ensure that heavy duty vehicles operating in California remain equipped with the properly functioning emission controls. So they're going to be checking all you mother truckers out there, right, that have uh, semi trucks. Now, just like the smog in California, the clean truck check will require reporting, vehicles testing, and compliance fees. So that means not only are they going to check your equipment, they're going to charge you for every single equipment you need to get clean truck check so here are some key events and estimated implementation dates that they have right it says car plans to implement a three month reporting season projected to run from october 1st 2023 to december 31st 2023 by december 31st 2023 vehicle owners need to complete registration of their vehicles in the clean truck check database and pay a 30 dollar fee per vehicle CARB estimates that periodic testing requirements will become effective starting in July 2024. This means that a passing compliance test would be required to be submitted to CARB for all your vehicle compliance deadlines on or after July 1st, 2024. 
Now, here are some important dates for you guys right here. It says drive trucks. Beginning January 1st, 2024, trucks must be registered in the CARB online system to conduct drive activities in California. Non-zero emission legacy drive trucks may register in the CARB online system coming through December 31st, 2023. Beginning January 1st, 2024, only zero emission drive trucks may register in the CARB online system. All drive trucks entering seaports and intermodal rail yards will be required to be zero emission by 2035. Now, I'm going to put down uh, links down below so that you guys can read through all this to the things that pertain to you. But yes, it looks like coming up soon for all drivers in California, you're going to have to register and get your truck checked like how they do with their smog system. Right, so with smog every few years or whatnot in California, if I re remember correctly, they, you got to go get your car checked. Right, they're doing the same thing with semi trucks. So, uh, mother truckers, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. But yeah, it's a, uh, it's just another fee for drivers to pay. And yeah, they want no diesel trucks by 2035 for majority and 2045 for obsolete. So you know, a couple links there about that right but yeah i mean he's upset he goes how are you alex this is uh obide a truck driver from california truck drivers in california have started receiving postcards as shown below and from california website they have destroyed our trucks and projects in california please help what's going on you know and here is the postcard here so imagine again this postcard you know that's going to scare the bejeebies out of you you know um Truck drivers, if you're in California, you know, uh, it's it, it's like when the electronic ELD came out. People are like, oh, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But look what happens. It happens, right? So they're forcing this change, especially in California. What are you going to do?